Hello friends, today we will discuss setback distance on a horizontal curve and side distance across the inside of a horizontal curve is an important element of design and this side distance can be obstructed by several features of the ground. It can be either because of profile of the natural slope, it may be because of plantation, maybe some building, maybe some structure and in some cases it is possible to remove those structures to provide clear line of sight but sometimes it is not possible and you have to realign the highway to make sure that proper side distance is available. Now how do we calculate this setback distance? Let us say this is the center line of the road on a horizontal curve. A vehicle coming from this direction should be able to see a vehicle coming from opposite direction and that is let us say this is the line of sight of two vehicles. Now this can be obstructed by any object here. It can be in the form of a tree, it can be in the form of a building, plantation, crops, even some temporary structure or permanent structure. Now this is called the setback distance. Distance from the center line of the road to the obstruction to the line of sight. That is the setback distance. Let us say this is M. Now this M will depend upon the radius of the curve. It will also depend upon the side distance and it also depends upon the number of lanes. Now for a single lane road, let us take a simple case when the road is a single lane road. For a single lane road, this is measured along the center line of the road and let us say this is the center line of the road and this is the side distance S. This is the side distance. Now there could be two cases when the side distance is less than the length of the curve or when this length of the curve is less than the side distance. Let us say the side distance is less than the length of the curve. Length of the curve is from this point to this point. Length is measured along the center line of the road. Now this angle here, let us say this is the line of sight and that is the center. This is radius R and this is what we call M that is your setback distance. Say A, B, C and D. Now BD is setback distance and let us denote, denote it by M. This angle half of the central angle let us say theta this is also theta. So this distance will be S by 2. So theta will be S by 2 upon R. R is radius of the curve or you can say S by 2 R. S can be stopping side distance, it can be overtaking side distance also OST. Or if you want to see in the degree, it will be 180 upon pi. This is theta. Theta is the half of central angle made by the side distance. And this M, M is OD minus OB. Now OD is R. It is the radius of the curve. And this you can find out from this triangle. This OB you can find out from this triangle AOB that is R cos of theta. R cos theta. So for a single lane road, this M will be R minus R cos theta. Remember theta is S upon 2 R into 180 by pi in degree. So it depends upon the radius of the curve and the side distance. If side distance is less than length of the curve. In the second case, when the length of the curve is less than the side distance, 
length of the curve is less than side distance. Then this is the length of the curve L and this is the side distance S. So in that case, now this is here, let us say up to a, a distance of x extra x distance here and x is s minus l by 2 half this side half this side s is the side distance which is larger than l and this theta theta now will be let us say theta 1 now in the second case theta 1 will be l by 2 into r rather than s by 2 now we take l by 2 now this distance m will be measured along this line that is high distance so this is m this is now m so m will be this distance plus this distance and what is this distance? This distance is you can measure from this triangle. Now this angle will be theta. So you can take this triangle here and find out this distance. This will be x into sine theta. And what is x? x is s minus l upon 2. So this will be r m will be now r minus r cos theta theta 1 let us say plus x sin theta 1 x x is s minus l by 2 and theta 1 is l upon 2 r into 180 by pi these are two cases on a single lane road when you have more than one lane say for example you have two lane roads then in that case this distances are measured from the center line of the inner lane so that is the two lane road and that is the center line this is one lane this is second lane we draw a line here that is along the center of the inner lane. So side distance is measured along this line and the radius is measured along center line of the road. So R is from this point, right? Let us say this is theta, this is theta and S is measured along this line. S is measured along the middle of the inner lane. So again we take that S is less than L, case 1. And let us say this distance, small distance here, let me, let me put it like this. This is A, B, C and this is D and this point is E. E. So d e here, this distance, let us say n, d e is n and what is n? n is the half of the lane width along the center of the inner lane. So this is 1.8 meter or 1.75 meter, right? Now e b, e b will be now what is theta angle? Now theta angle will be S by 2 upon R. Instead of R, now we take R minus N. So the radius of this curve, inner line here, will be R minus N. So theta will be S by 2 upon R minus N. Or you can say S upon 2 R minus N into 180 by pi. There is the theta now. And 
this m offset m will be this distance along the along this line center line so this is m earlier this m we measured from this point so now the the m will be with the same philosophy r minus r minus r cos theta now instead of r we take r minus n into cos theta but cos theta is now s upon 2 into r minus n this is the equation when this side distance is less than the length of the curve in the reverse case when the side distance is more than length of the curve then in that case your side distance extends up to here let us say right and this is the length of the curve l this is the length of the curve so this will be measured from this point up to side distance this point m m will now be measured from this point so this will be again by the same philosophy this plus this height this distance and this distance is let us say this is x and this will be x into sine theta so in this case m will be r minus r minus n into cos theta plus x x is l minus s sorry s minus l by 2 into sin theta this will be the equation to calculate but remember now theta theta is now l by 2 upon r minus n into 180 by pi so that is how we calculate the setback distance let me take one example and example is like this that there is a horizontal curve of radius 400 meter and length of the curve is 200 meter on a two lane road compute the setback distance required from center line on the inner side of the curve so as to provide a stopping side distance of 90 meter and overtaking side distance of 300 meter the distance between the center line of the road and the inner lane is 1.9 meter that is your n now with these values let us calculate there are two cases now case one is for safe SSD. SSD is 90 meter and 90 meter is less than length of the curve 200 meter and say two lane road. So we go by that equation that m is r minus r minus n cos theta. Now theta here is because SSD is less than so it will be s by 2 upon r minus n into 180 by pi to convert into degree s by 2 is 45 and r is 400 minus 1.9 into 180 divided by pi this is around 6 degree 29 minutes that is your theta half of the central angle r is 400 n is 1.9 meter theta you know now so you can calculate what is the value of m m will be 400 minus 400 minus 1.9 into cos 
6 degree 29 minute. This is 4.4 meter at the setback distance for this case. In the second case, when you have OSD, case 2, OSD is now 300 meter. So, OSD is more than the length of the curve. OSD is 300 meter, length of the curve is 200 meter. So, that is your second case. So, in this case, you need x distance also. x is 300 minus 100 by 2, that is 50 meter. M is now, let us say M1 is R minus R minus N cos theta plus x sin theta. Now, theta will also change because now L is less than OST. So, theta will be L by 2 upon R minus N. It will be L, L is 200, so 100 upon 400 minus 1.9 into 180 by pi. This is 14.39 degree. Put all values here, R you know 400 and 1.9, theta is known, x is 50. So, this will be now M1 will be 26.8 meter. So, that is how we calculate setback distance on a horizontal curve. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.